Good morning. This is Pastor Marvin Osborne with First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio. Hope you're well today. You know, I've been reading the Bible since I was a teenager. I've read it cover to cover, uh, all 66 books um, every year uh, for, for decades. And, and uh, you know, sometimes it's the same story. You know, it is all, you know, you, you read the same things over and over again. And if you're not careful, you know, you kind of get used to uh, what you read, you kind of you know what's coming, and so you kind of jump ahead in your mind and in your reading, and and so forth. So every once in a while, God gives me something that I hadn't seen before, and I really enjoy it. And today was one of those days, and I'm looking at Psalm chapter. I'm sorry, Proverbs chapter 19, verse three. Proverbs chapter 19, verse three. It says, "The foolishness of man twists his ways." And his heart frets against the Lord. Frets against the Lord. I mean, he blames God. And the fool, or the foolishness of man, twists his ways. He violates God's word. He he does what he wants to do. He abuses his body in some form or fashion. You know, he 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 does drugs, and all of a sudden, because of the the cocaine and, uh, that he took when he was in his twenties, now in his 40s or 50s, he has heart problems, and he, uh, you know, because of his alcohol, he has that, he has kidney problems or he has uh, liver problems. He's run out and he's jumped out of buildings, and he's, um, you know, he's uh, played all kinds of sports, kind of abusing his body, even when his body was saying not to do it. And all of a sudden, now that he has. Uh, you know, he wakes up with arthritis, he wakes up with troubles and all this other stuff, and he blames God. He, they're blaming God for the troubles they have. They have chi child after child after child out of wedlock, and uh, they're, uh, they're having to pay child support, and they're blaming God because they're in poverty. You know what? This is the fact. This is the fact, is that many times in life we... We make our own poverty. We make our own poverty. When we choose to smoke, you know, and, and spend seven, eight dollars on a pack of cigarettes uh, or two or three packs a day, and you do that for 20, 30 years, and all of a sudden you have uh, lung cancer, and that's not all the reasons people get lung cancer, but, uh, but if you've been smoking all those years, don't blame God because you have lung cancer. If you've been drinking all those years, don't blame God because you are an alcoholic or you have uh, liver problems or whatever else. If you if you abused your body with drugs and all of a sudden you have health problems, don't blame God. You've been out there messing around with women and now you're, most of your paycheck goes to pray, pay for those children that you can uh, that you uh, produced. You know what? Don't blame anybody else but you. He says the the foolishness of man means that, you know what, I, it's not my fault. It, we, we live in a, it's not my fault world. You know, it's not, he's not, we used to call people who had trouble with alcohol drunks. We don't call them that anymore. We call them alcoholics. They're, they have a disease. And, and I get that. I understand the addiction to the drugs and everything else. It's, it's wicked. There's, there's a reason why they're called spirits, right? And uh, alcohol and everything is because it begins to take control of you. And if you're not careful, you think you have control of it, but eventually it takes control of you and you can't control yourself anymore. He says, the foolish of men says it's everybody else's fault. It's not my fault. It's society's fault. It's my parents' fault. It's, it's that person's fault. It's that person's fault. If only I had the opportunities that other people had, if I only... Had the op was able to make more money if I was able to do this and able to do that, you know, you you had the opportunity. Honestly, you had the opportunity. You'd say, "Well, I no one gave me a scholarship. Did he give you a job? Did he give you a opportunity to work for your your education? Like uh, God gave me the opportunity to do cleaning floors, uh, bussing dishes and in, in restaurants and everything else to pay." For my college? No. Let me, let me tell you this. The choices you made, made you. The choices you made, made you. You are what you are. 
You're, you are who you are because of the choices you made. And we have to live with the consequences of our actions. It is not God's fault. It's your fault. Especially if you're a believer. Especially if you knew the Word of God and uh, you chose to ignore the Word of God. Pastor, you sure are being mean on us. You sure are being um, hard on us today. No, no, no. I'm telling you what the Bible says. Stop blaming God. Look in the mirror and change yourself. Repent of your sins. Say, God, I for, for, please forgive me. Help me never to make that mistake again. Help me not to make that sin again. Do that sin again. Give me the power to control uh, my, um, you know, my alcohol or drugs or whatever it is, my womanizing or or carousing or whatever it is that you have, you're struggling with. God, please, in your grace, heal me of, of, of this disease and help me to live for you. The great thing about uh, our, our, our almighty God is he's not only the God of the second chance, but he's, he's the God of the 2,000th chance or the 20,000th chance as he has with me. I'm not perfect. I've made choices. I live by the choices I've made, good or bad. We all do. It says, the foolishness of man twists his way. We look around and say, it's everybody else's fault. No. The choices we made, made us. You are where you are today because of your disobedience or obedience to God. Now, the good thing is we can get back on track. Good thing God is a, is a forgiver of sins. God is a restorer. Jesus Christ is a life changer. If that's what you want. It starts with today. Again, a choice. If you want to be better tomorrow, you need to make a choice today. Make the right choice. This is Pastor Marvin Osborne saying God loves you, and I love you as well, and I'll talk to you soon.